And now taking a look at some news from Danville in Pennsylvania County, the Register and Bee is reporting that Dan River Democrats blasted Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin's decision to shut Ford Motor Company out of opening a battery making plant at the Southern Virginia mega site at Berry Hill. Sources say the plant would have brought in $3.5 billion in investments and 2,500 jobs to the area. One of those speaking out is Roy Ford, the chairman of the Pennsylvania County Democratic Committee. He said the area has voted heavily and consistently Republican and voted for Youngkin, and to have that to happen is disgraceful. According to the newspaper, Ford said Youngkin's actions appear to be purely political and reflect presidential ambitions on the governor's part. More than $200 million has been spent over 15 years to make Berry Hill a premier site and the largest publicly owned site in the southeast. Now, the plant would have built lithium-ion phosphate batteries for Ford's electric vehicles. Young can put a stop to the automaker's plans for Virginia in December because of its partnership with Chinese company Contemporary Amperex Technology. Another Democrat who spoke out about the governor's decision was Joshua Norris, vice chairman of the Danville Democratic Committee. According to the Register and Bee, Norris said it's a shame, meaning he, the governor, would put the interest of his political ambitions or presidential ambitions in front of what's good for the people of South Southside Virginia. Norris said the project would have provided thousands of jobs to an economically depressed part of the state and that politics should not cost anyone their livelihood. The newspaper said Republican leaders in Danville and Pennsylvania County did not return calls to the Register and B seeking comment. Now, to read the story in its entirety, you can pick up a copy of the Register and B or go to their website, godanriver.com.